Hello, it's May 8, 2017. I'm Tony Smario. This is Think or Swim here at my fatherbrosal.org YouTube channel, as well as Think or Swim. And let's talk about climate change and uh, what's going on in the world with all of these floods, all of this disaster. Uh, people who uh, subscribe to our brosal.org YouTube channel uh, might see in our own subscriptions a channel called Adapt 2030. A guy that's pushing this mini ice age is coming on us. Mini ice age, sunspots, cosmic rays. It's an electric universe, which is probably true, judging from what Nikola Tesla knew. Uh, and so his story is that this electric universe and the the reaction of our uh, system of weather through through those associations are what's really going on. And that when you track it back through history, you see these historical ice ages in which the planet cools and the northern latitudes become essentially winter all year round, like when I grew up thinking of places like Alaska or the northern parts of Canada, where even in the summer, it's still cold and there's still snow. And in these minimums, they call them, when the planet cools to its minimum, more of the earth is covered in snow. And so it primarily affects the crops. People can't grow food. And, and this... Adapt 2030 is spent, you know, has, has a good presentation. And when I first started watching it, I thought, boy, this sounds so right. It's such a neat little bundle, just like all the modern, you know, red team, blue team, Russian aggression, North Korea, what do we do? Just like the, everything in our system, Obamacare. <laughs> and then we fight over the red team, blue team forever. So now we got global warming pitted against mini ice age and what the historical data that this person with the ice age tries to demonstrate is that you, it's a, accompanied by falling civilizations and drastic changes in the geopolitical and societal framework of the of the world because all of a sudden if you can imagine uh, Europe or North American continent being frozen most of the time well that doesn't support the same sort of system that it does now. And so all those things just change in a very quick period of time. And it sounds so apocalyptic and realistic to me. I don't see any reason why that sort of story doesn't um, appeal to a sense of rational thinking. And so I started writing the guy from ADAPT 2030 to say, hey, well, then how do you figure in all this weather manipulation? And he ignored it, ignored it, ignored it. And he finally writes me back one time and says, well, it can all be explained by the sunspots and cosmic rays. They have the same effect. Whoops, but wait a minute. Sunspots and cosmic rays are the thing in question, not whether they're manipulating the weather. That's now become official. They're officially manipulating the weather. That's a, they're, they're trying to keep the earth from warming up too much by creating cloudiness that reflects the sun's rays back into space. That's what we're told all this aerosol spraying is for. As far as I know, no one's really explained how that, how all the atmospheric heaters all over the world that they've been building as fast as they can since they got harp finished and working some years back, they've never stopped building these atmospheric heaters. So we got them all over the world. And to this point, I'm not sure that they've explained what part that plays in saving the world from their climate change. But the spraying now has been explained as laying down clouds to reflect the sun's rays back to keep us from overheating. So this this guy with the mini ice age is saying that, no, the, the clouds rays are because of the cosmic I mean, the clouds are being formed because of the cosmic rays and that that's the typical pattern now in this ice age that we have coming and that's cooling the planet down and that's what's causing all these out-of-season winter uh, happenings all over the planet. 
So I find these conflicting stories that both sound, I mean, we know the global warming is propaganda since the whole Al Gore explanation of an inconvenient truth was demonstrated to be just a convenient lie. And now this counter explanation of an ice age, which sounds legitimate, except for two points. They told us all this 45 years ago. In the 70s, we were dying, and Ice Age was coming. Ice Age was coming. And one of our only hopes then was that these new nuclear plants that we were designing to build to bring us more efficient, clean energy in the world might help offset the cooling planet and might help warm us up. <laughs> Just like now they're spraying all this stuff in the sky and telling us it might help cool us down so we don't overheat. So to believe any of these stories is like to believe NASA that they flew to the moon. Let's have the astronauts on to tell us what space is like. So I feel that the climate change fear-mongering hype is only just that. And that if there is such a historical record, and I, I believe that that's probably true, you can look back into you know, nothing of the modern account of it, I don't believe, could be trusted. But if you can look back into the the writings from a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, five hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, well, certainly you could piece together an accurate picture of what weather was doing. As we know, there's parts of Europe that were at one time warmer than they are today. And it would appear there's times when the planets, or whatever we're on, this, as Tesla called it, this uh, uh, realm, was colder. I have no qualms with the, the average temperature of the planet fluctuating, or this realm, whatever it is, fluctuating between hotter and colder, and, and perhaps it has all of the effects that we're told, uh, that they scare us with when it when it cools down, the, the ice comes south, and the growing regions are reduced, and that does happen. And that's why, you know, I wanted to believe that, that there's a channel like this, ADAPT 2030, which is helping me watch the facts of the case. And yet, the man just will not acknowledge that the very thing he's blaming on cosmic rays, which are as unverifiable as as, you know, the 300,000 mile away moon that people have landed on, moon rocks that they brought back from the moon. Well, that's not true. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye, these obvious spokespeople for the system, these so-called scientists are nothing more than, than liars. They're mouthpieces like movie stars. So what they, I can't trust what they say about the universe. Like I say, I'd rather believe Tesla, if I'm going to search for someone who I think might have informed us. And so Tesla points to this electronic universe. It, what about weather? You know, wh what's really affecting the weather? The thing is that they have been building atmospheric heaters for a decade or more all over the world, a couple decades. They've been spraying the atmosphere for a couple of decades. It's ongoing. It's constant. And now it's official that they're making clouds so they can reflect the sun's rays back. Well, if they're, you know, why would they have to make clouds if the cosmic rays are making clouds already? So I think ADAPT 2030 is propaganda. Um, and I think the climate change fear mongering story is propaganda. And so the real question is what are they doing with their spraying? What is that meant to achieve if not this drastic weather? with their atmospheric heaters. Why are we blaming all this drastic weather on natural causes when, it's, when we haven't acknowledged all the artificial causes? So I say there should be a bit of an outcry here as to why is it coincidentally that all these weather anomalies are happening while the official manipulating of the weather is happening. That appears to be what's going on with climate change and they're just covering it up with all their ice age and global warming stories. So think or swim, guys.